finishing well. To finish our spiritual journey well, we should maintain proper relationships with mature Christians who will help us keep our focus on the Lord Jesus Christ. Here's Gene. We have in the next paragraphs really um, a sad commentary on a good beginning but a poor ending. We read in 2 Kings chapter 11, verses 21 and following, about Judah's king Joash. Joash was seven years old when he became king. In the seventh year of Jehu, Joash became king, reigned forty years in Jerusalem. Joash was a southern king. His mother's name was Zebiah, who was from Beersheba. Throughout the time, Jehoiada, the priest, instructed him. Joash did what was right in the Lord's sight. Yet the high places were not taken away. The people continued sacrificing and burning incense on the high places. Now, if you go to 2 Chronicles, which is another record of the kings, you have um, something that is, is very revealing. And this is what we read. You don't read this in 2 Kings, you read it in 2 Chronicles. It's an addition, it's an elaboration. However, after Jehoiada died, this great high priest, the one who was teaching Joash and teaching him the laws, after Jehoiada died, the rulers of Judah came and paid homage to the king. Appealed, by the way, to his ego, to his pride. Then the king listened to them, and they abandoned the temple of Yahweh, the God of their ancestors, and served the Asherah poles and the idols. Again, this pagan worship. And so there was wrath against Judah and Jerusalem for this guilt of theirs. If you read on in 2 Chronicles, you have this horrible deterioration in this young man, Joash, who as long as, Jehoiada, uh, as long as Jehoiada had taught him and helped him, he followed the God, but when the rulers came, appealed to his pride, and they, they left the worship of the one true God. Notice the, the horrible decline in this man. King Joash didn't remember the kindness that Zechariah's father, Jehoiada, had extended to him, but actually killed his son. I mean, how could you do that? Well, it shows the influence of evil, the power of pride, the power of arrogance, the power of not following your mentors who are teaching you the right way. It, it gets even more tragic, where Joash is assassinated. We read about this here in 2 Kings chapter 12, verse 19 and following. The rest of the events of Joash's reign, along with all his accomplishments, are written in the historical record of Judah's kings. Joash's servants conspired against him. His own people turned against him and killed him at Beth Milo on the road that goes down to Silla. His servants, Joshabad, son of Shimeath, and Jehoshabad, son of Shomer, struck him down. By the way, what goes around comes around because he had killed Jehoiada's son. And here he is killed and struck down by those who were supposed to be serving him. They struck him down and he died. And then they buried him with his fathers in the city of David and his son Amaziah became king in his place. As we started this, uh, this study in Kings, Second Kings, I stated it's a, not a pretty picture. It's a very honest picture of evil, both of the kings of Israel and the kings of Judah. And yet we see God's incredible grace. You see, there's God's plan for, or for finishing well. And Joash violated that plan. We see it in the New Testament in Hebrews chapter 13. I call it God's plan for finishing well. And it correlates really with what happened in Joash's life. Because here we read, Obey your leaders and submit to them, for they keep watch over your souls as those who will give an account, 
so that they can do this with joy and not with grief, for that would be unprofitable for you. Now this is assuming, obviously, as the Hebrew author wrote this, that you have godly leaders. And Jehoiada was teaching Joash the Word of God, teaching him the laws of God. But when he left Jehoiada's teaching, after he passed off the scene, followed the rulers of Judah who were appealed to his pride, we see the downward decline. He did not finish well because he abandoned the teachings of those who knew the will of God and ultimately was assassinated. There are powerful lessons that come out of this for us. And that is, even as we get older, number one, we can listen to the wrong people. Number two, we can allow pride to influence our decisions. Number three, we can even forget those who impacted our lives for good. And Joash violated all of those. And those are powerful lessons for our own lives as well. The question for reflection and response obviously relates to the principle, and that is, as we grow older, even as Christians who have walked in God's will, what are some of the reasons we can grow cold and calloused in our own spiritual lives? Well, there are a lot of reasons, but several that come to me is, number one, if we abandon the Word. Joash abandoned the Word. He abandoned the laws of God. And as believers, we can abandon the Word by not assembling together, being taught the Word, encouraging one another, but violating God's will. Another reason is we avoid listening to and respecting our spiritual leaders, those who really are following God and have our interests at heart that are God's interests. We just avoid listening. We want our ears tickled. We don't want the Word of God. And that's introducing us to a wrong path. And then another issue that grows out of that is that's not dealing with sin in our lives. It, it spreads like cancer. It can sear our conscience. And once we depart from the will of God as it's revealed in the Word of God, then we can experience this desensitized conscience that is, should be in tune with the Word of God. And I believe that Joash certainly illustrates this in the Old Testament with a powerful lesson for all of us. God wants us to finish well.